Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have an unusual uh, article, and that is an assessment of the friendship between the uh, president of uh, the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, and the president of uh, Turkey, Tayyip uh, Erdogan. And they say in this article, coming from Russia today, that the reason why, one of the reasons why, and I will discuss in this video, why these guys are having a uh, good relationship is because, and I'm quoting, Putin considers Erdogan a real man. End quote. So that was a quotation, okay? A quote from January 20th, 2023, Russia Today. And I'm quoting again the title, Putin considers Erdogan a real man. Why Russia maintains friendly relations with one of NATO's key members. So how Russia and Turkey have managed to keep friendly ties despite conflicts and contradictions. And they, they tell us about the Syria conflict where they had some scuffles, some, uh, you know, um, escalated almost to a military conflict when the Turkish army destroyed, I think, a Suhoi 24 bomber that was operating in North Syria and uh, allegedly, or how we want to call it, crossed into the um, Turkish territory and it was shut down. So that was the lowest point between the relationship, but they mended fences. They had a lot of interaction in Syria and they still stuck together. Then they have the economic aspect, which is uh, Russia provides... Uh, Turkey with natural gas and uh, you know resources, including uh, tourism. Turkey has some investments in Russia. Russia has investments in Turkey. So the economic aspect is covered. And they say the Cauc uh, Caucasian issue. They talk about the you know the contradictions between Moscow and Ankara in Syria, obviously. And uh, the Ukrainian crisis. In the Ukrainian crisis, as you know, uh, Erdogan tried to you know, discuss with Putin and with uh, Zelensky and play uh, the role of a mediator and a solid relationship. Well, they saw the, their interests, their country's interests first and then the alliance's uh, interest. That's one of the reasons. And because Turkey does not follow the U.S.'s orders um, almost uh, never, it's only when it uh, fits its interest. That's that's why Turkey can play a uh, independent role, follows and uh, fulfills its interest. Whereas, let's say Romania doesn't do that. It looks at the United States and say, "What do you want me to do?" And the state says, uh, "Drop your pants and let's go." So that's Romania or Bulgaria or you know uh, Poland or countries like this, including Germany, by the way. But Turkey seems to have a, a backbone and some balls there. Now, on top of that, these guys talk about this particular relationship between the two leaders, however we want to call them, and um, that is, uh, I would say, one of the most important aspects of the fact that these countries are getting along. Because once you build a personal relationship with someone uh, built on trust, consistency, then it's harder to break that bond. Why? Because in the world where anybody can, you know, stab you in the back, cut your things and uh, throw it to the dogs, uh, you have someone who at least is consistent in, uh, you know, if I tell you something, you know, let's do it. That's not my interest. I'm not going to get involved. Okay, at least you know that person is straight. Now, the title you heard it, Putin considers Erdogan to be a man. What does that mean? I know this is the article, okay? So let's see what these guys are saying. Personal relations between the two leaders also play an important role. And I'm quoting, Putin considers Erdogan a, and I'm quoting, real man, end quote, who keeps his word. Huh? That's something we haven't heard in, I don't know, 150 years or something. Honor, personal honor, remember? Keeping your word. We, it, that used to be a by default. In some groups, some areas, among some uh, people, but nowadays that's a very, very rare, um, how should I put it, article that you find, <laughs> ability. 
Um, so, Putin considers Erdogan a real man who keeps his word. And I'm continuing to quote. This is a new characteristic for the president of Turkey. But Erdogan has demonstrated loyalty to his obligations. So not loyal, loyalty to, to Biden or United States. No. To his obligations. That means if I tell you I meet you tomorrow at 5 p.m. in front of the church, I will meet you there. If something comes out, I let you know. Okay? So don't waste your time. I apologize, but I let you know so you don't come over there. Okay? That's the worst thing that I can do. Call you. But I will show up over there. If I'm dead, uh, before I die, if I could, I leave to my whomever. Get me there at 5 o'clock in front of the church. Dead or alive. At least the guy shows up, sees me dead. Oh, well, I guess. Thank you very much. So, according to Amur Gajiev, Another important aspect is that both sides comply with their obligations under binding mutual agreements. This was evident in the framework of the Syrian settlements, the agreements on Karabakh and other issues in the context of bilateral cooperation, such as regional pro problems, trade, economic and energy cooperation, as well as cultural and humanitarian ties. And I'm quoting, as long as there's mutual trust and all sides observe their obligations under existing agreements, there will be no obstacles to the mutual beneficial cooperation of the two countries in the future. End quote, said Amur Gajiev. So, um, this is uh, some, uh, you know, people's uh, uh, assessment of, uh, of the relationship between the two and the two countries. The article is uh, talking about uh, cooperation or at least respecting uh, each, uh, each country's red lines in Syria, basically. That's the one. And then in Ukraine, again, I will do that for you, or I would get involved in that, or I will not get involved in that. But at least you let me know, okay? You're straight, straight. Um, that's why that's, I don't know, I didn't know that's a uh, man characteristic. Anyway, here is uh, what it is. And uh, from, um, how should I put it? I don't know if you guys have been in, a uh, certain kind of situation where you do not trust the other side. Uh, be it uh, obviously in a negotiation, being in a war, being in a, I don't know, in a family, being in whatever you are, in a fight, in gangs. Uh, trust is built, even if you're uh, trust in a way of uh, respect by um, fulfilling your obligations. That was a very beautiful, uh, uh, how should I put it, wording over there. Fulfilling your obligations. So if we agree to fight somewhere at a certain time, you you you, you show respect. And first first of all, by doing that, you respect yourself. And you can't really respect anybody else before you respect yourself. So you have to respect yourself in order to be able to respect others. Otherwise, you would be you know, you will break each and every uh, agreement and uh, any trust in anyone if you don't. Uh, you're not ashamed of your behavior, but you have to have standards. Then you have to have shame. If you have standards, you have to, you know, uh, live up to those standards. Now, if you can't live up to the standards, either lower them, but everybody know that you lowered your standards. Or if you can't, you would feel guilt because it's a failure. And what do you do? Don't apologize. Improve. Improve. It's like you make a mistake and you apologize. That's not enough. That's just one out of 100. The 99 is changing your behavior. If you did not, that's how you prove you're really sorry. When you change your behavior. In this case, it was, I think, a 2016 um, attempt to uh, you know, overthrow Erdogan, if you remember, with the military and other uh, interests over there, outside interests that played a role in the attempt to overthrow him. And some people said that the Russians uh, helped Russian military, Russian special troops and uh, information and blah, blah, blah. Putin supposedly, this is just what other people said. I can't vouch for that. I have no direct evidence to support that. But just for the sake of sharing that, it's been said that Putin helped Erdogan to, uh, you know, move around, let him know uh, what's going on and so on. Not him, uh, you know, Erdogan, go over there, around that corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not like that. 
not in uh, like in uh, not not like in Mad Matrix. Remember Matrix the the, the movie? No, no, go when I tell you do this. Blah, blah, blah. Not like that. But anyway, it seems like that was the moment when Erdogan switched from the United States. United States being you know yes yes yes. Not really yes 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 was not yet yes 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 before that either. But at least you know being yeah I'm with these guys and I think that attempt. When he realized who's who, what's what, I think he said, well, you know what, actually I'm alone. And everybody else is for himself. So I have to watch my back and I can't just allow myself to be in uh, Putin's hands or this uh, alliance hands and so on. It's me through my own, um, uh, you know, power. And uh, you know, I have to take care of myself as everybody else I have to look for their interest. So, as I said, trust is built by... Um, uh, consistency and pattern. I remember in one of uh, the interviews I watched um, uh, of Putin, I can't remember, it was in a, it doesn't matter who interviewed him, uh, but he, he was asked, is there anything you can't forgive? And Putin said, yeah, that's one thing, that is disloyalty. So for Putin, the the worst thing that you can do to that guy it is disloyalty. Now, loyalty could be, uh, how should I put it, uh, regardless of if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Like in the mafia, no? And in gangs, you're loyal to that uh, chief, that boss, knowing that that action is a negative action. But that's what uh, loyalty, I guess. It's uh, inspired by mafia. And that's in political parties as well. Just go to political parties and see how you get uh, assigned or appointed on positions after you campaign for someone. The same way. I've been loyal to you. I had your back. I uh, took the fall for you. And if you do that, that means you're going to do it again. And you are a guy that you're loyal. For me, even whatever happened to me. And when I get in power, you come with me. Well, how do you think these guys... Uh, uh, assign their cabinets or the people around them if they're still conscious if you know what I mean and you're not a little bit on the uh, Alzheimer uh, spectrum thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just